Hi, my name is David Klappenberger with Klappenberger & Son and today we're going to take a look at three different paints that all start with the word scuff. And these, are, these paints are supposed to be scuff resistance. Hence we have the name Scuff X by uh, Benjamin Moore, Scuff Defense by Bear, and Scuff Tough by Sherwin Williams. Scuff Tough is a, a, the, new, the newest of the three products that come out. I think they've changed the product already once. This is the, the improved new version. Compare them. We want to see a few things. One is which one covers the best. That's why we're going to be going over this blue and white striped wall and seeing if it takes one, two, or three coats for full coverage. We're also going to be taking a look at obviously the scuffability of it as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the coverage. We're going to go ahead and use these four inch mini rolls. I think that'll give a, a pretty good sample of how it rolls on. This is the bare first coat. Scuff defense. There you go. And there's the Benjamin Moore Scuff X. And then finally the Sherwin Williams Scuff Tough. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a little thicker. And now it's time for the and now it's time for the second coat of the Sherwin Williams. All right. Here are the results after two coats. We got the bare scuff defense at the top. You can still see some vertical lines coming through after two coats. The Benjamin Moore Scuff X, pretty darn good. Barely see a little bit of blue, probably. You can see those lines. You can really see where they are because the Sherwin Williams uh, Scuff Tough, you can really see the blue. So, we, your results may vary. This is not a scientific test. Um, and I used a four inch nap roller, half inch nap roller. I didn't use a three quarter inch or, you know, I, I didn't load up the, a nine inch roller. So your results may vary. All right, it's, it's time to start testing the scuff resistant paint. And I have this uh, broken three wood. And this spot right here, I have not, uh, this is just regular cheap garage paint that's put, put on there. And if I can scuff that up, which I can, those are the scuff marks. Again, I just go like this, and you can see them. Great. So here's the bear, totally scuffed. And there's the bear. Here's the Ben Moore. Very little. Or I'm sorry, the Benjamin Moore. Here's the Sherwin Williams. Williams. We're going to take a quarter and go like that. Clearly see the markings from the quarter. All right, and I got a quarter, same quarter right here. Definitely see it with the Benjamin Moore. Sherwin Williams. Very easy to see. So a quarter does not work on any of them. Okay, I have. I have this big squeegee and I want to try the wooden end of it. And first I want to put it on this side here. Wow, it does not it does not make a mark on the cheap garage paint. Oh my god. It does not make a mark on the bear. Or the Petro Moore. Or the Sherwin Williams. Alright, so not much of a test there. I have some simple green Sherwin Williams. Actually, it, it, some of it came off. Maybe 40, 50 percent came off. Benjamin Moore, 95 percent of it came off. And Bear, 75 percent of it came off. A little bit left. I'm going to try a black rubber mallet. And this is just the regular garage paint. Builder's grade stuff. This would be bare. Clear 
at least scuffs. Bend for more. A little bit. Sherwin Williams. Not at all. Interesting. So rubber mallet does really well. Little teeny bit there. But nothing like nothing like bear. And a little bit there with Ben Moore. The winner is certainly going to be Sherwin Williams. I need to level with you guys for a second. I believe that I hurt the test of the paint when I cleaned it with Simple Green. It softened up the paint, and I think that's really why it was coming off pretty easily with this with this tripod. The other things that I kind of go over it lightly with, like uh, you know, an iron. I think now this is completely dry and it's not marring up. It does a little bit with a, a black handle, but I guess if you rub a black handle onto paint, a little bit of the black is going to fall off. The results are as follows. The Bear is the worst and the Sherwin Williams and the Benjamin Moore are fairly equal. The coverage, the Benjamin Moore is the best. Price wise, the Bear is the cheapest, followed by and that's $48, the Benjamin Moore 60, 65 bucks, and the Sherwin-Williams retails for 111, but if you're nice to the person behind the Sherwin-Williams counter, I'm sure they'll give it to you for a wholesale price, probably knock it into the 80s. Painting contractors are gonna get it for less than that, as that less than the 80s. So um, price point wise, cheapest, but it's the worst. Benjamin Moore is probably the best value at this point, but I wanna see what it looks like after four weeks. The cure time on this bare paint is four weeks. The total cure time. The Benjamin Moore is two weeks. Couldn't find out what the Sherwin Williams was. So let's stop where we are here. I think this is important information. The other thing I want to do before you don't leave because this is this is important. The other thing I want to do is I want to compare what Pittsburgh Ultra Last is because it has a hell of a nice skin to it. I think it's going to be very scuff resistant just as much as these are and also some pre-catalyst epoxies and see if they're more scuff resistant than even the, the, the paints that are supposedly scuff resistant. Look forward to seeing you. Give us a like, subscribe. Good stuff. Very important information obviously to know what is the most scuff resistant paint. It's great paint. It's great for mudrooms, commercial spaces, high traffic areas. You get all that. But even closets and things like that as well. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.